What's up, everybody? It's Taylor Twelman from Major League Soccer and Apple TV. Major League Soccer is off and running just three weeks in. Now, the midweek games in CONCACAF Champions Cup delivered with drama. Inter Miami and Messi down 2 0, scored two massive away goals to draw Nashville. That leg two comes this Wednesday. And the MLS games from Saturday and Sunday were as entertaining as any, which leads me to Twelman's takes. So let's go. I have to start north of the border. See, Toronto FC, for majority of their history, have struggled to put it kindly. 11 of the 17 seasons in MLS, they have finished in the bottom five of the league, but it's the last three that have been especially bleak. 25th, 26th, and 29th. That 29th place actually earned them their third wooden spoon. And all of this over the last three years, while having the most expensive roster in the league. Now, so much attention has been on Insigne and Bernadeschi because in this league, your highest paid players have to deliver. End of story. And needless to say, they haven't up to this point. But now, for the first time in their history, they've got a clean sheet in three straight games to open up the season, led by their goalkeeper, Sean Johnson. And their two wins are off the back of two wonderfully taken goals from guess who? Insigne. The chip versus New England. And last weekend's Golasso versus Charlotte that took the lid off of the stadium, which leads me to my bigger point with them. Watch the celebration with the new manager, Insigne, and his teammates. If John Herdman gets buy-in from two of the top four highest-paid players in this league, then they can surprise some people. Now, the jury's still out, and I'm part of that jury. But so far, so good. Two away games, one at home, seven points. Now, in the spirit of outperforming expectations, the Loons are just flat-out Looney Tunes right now. Minnesota United. You don't have a sporting director in person, in the city, even in the country yet. You hire and move on from intern coaches before the season starts like it's nothing. And then all the reports in the preseason is that this is going to be a long season for Minnesota United. And yet here we are. Seven points in the first three games while winning their first two games on the road in dramatic fashion with two goals in second half stoppage time. And all of this is without their best player, Emmanuel Vernoso. But they've got themselves a goal scorer. Temu Puki came in midway through last season. He's been a hit from the beginning. 12 goals in his first 17 appearances in Major League Soccer. And that second goal versus Orlando, that's a goal scorer's goal. So pure. Quick trigger that no goalkeeper can stop. But tip of the cap to interim coach Cameron Knowles. He's got a belief going in that locker room. Because the youngest coach in MLS, Eric Ramsey, is about to take over after just leaving Manchester United. But this becomes an interesting talking point. Did you know the last three Supporter Shield winners in Major League Soccer all had seven points in three games? FC Cincinnati, LAFC, the New England Revolution. This year so far... Miami, Minnesota United, Toronto, Portland, New York Red Bulls, Columbus, and CF Montreal. Does one of these teams win the Shield this year? And if not, then who? My final point is this, and it's stating the obvious. How good is MLS when the stars deliver, and deliver in the biggest of moments? Yako Maki's in Atlanta. He looked like for the first 55 minutes or so, it was going to be an off night. Then 20 minutes later, he's got three goals. And all three of a different variety. The penalty kick, the thundering header, and then a wonderfully left-footed strike to top off his night. But that's following the game that Evander had, who's the largest transfer fee ever paid for the Portland Timbers, $10 million in the 97th minute. A curler into the top corner. Portland Timbers still three points in New York. And across the river, Forsberg for the Red Bulls, he opens his account at home with a goal and assist. The New York Red Bulls, seven points in three games. And then on Sunday, Ricky Pooch just always seems to find himself in spots to turn the game. And his finishing, by the way, has been better than advertised coming from Barcelona. His goal gave life to the Galaxy to come back and grab a point on the road against Nashville. And by the way, I told you, what about Jovalich? Three weeks ago, I said what? Dark horse for the Golden Boot. Three goals in three games already. Now, he and the Galaxy will host St. Louis City this weekend, and the rest of the stars in MLS are in action March 16th, March 17th, where you can watch every game for free on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. And as for my podcast offside, this week, the Athletics' Pablo Maurer and Paul Tenorio will be talking all things Major League Soccer. Subscribe and listen to it every week on Apple Podcasts.